Today, we will be installing AudioSep. We provide an input audio file and a text query, and the application will separate and take out the audio we describe in the text query. We will look at all of the built-in demos at the end. This Gradio application you are seeing is from the Google Colab, made by Cayman Duru. I don't think I pronounced that right. So all of the hard work was done for us. Also, the UI itself was created by Vedat Bade. There is no way I pronounced that right. Apologies. This is a fork of Cayman Duru's repository. If you scroll down, you can find the links to the original repository and to Cayman Duru's Google Colab. Anyways, let's get started with the installation. First, let's create a new Conda environment. And then clone the repository. And finally, install the dependencies. Now we just need to download some files. First, get the model weights from Hugging Face. There are two files. Click on the download icon next to each one. Then there are two files that I had to upload to my other project files repository. Because for some reason, GitHub doesn't allow you to have files over a certain size within a forked repository, it seems. Just click on that download icon on the very right to download both of these files. All of these files need to go in certain folders, which are mentioned on GitHub. First, go into the checkpoint folder and move the two checkpoint files over. Then go up one directory and into the models folder. Then go into clap. And then into training. We need to drop the NPI file into this folder. Be careful where you drop it. If you accidentally drop it onto one of these Python files, Windows will try to open the files with Python rather than drop the files in the folder. Let's go up one directory and then into open underscore clip and drop this remaining file here. Aha! Nice try, Microsoft Windows, but I'm going to drop it in this tiny little space on the left. And now we are done. Let's run the application. Simply run this Python app.py command to run it. This will launch a Gradio web application and should automatically open a new browser to it once it is running. And here we are. Let's try out the built-in examples. Warning, the audio from this might be loud. Sounds like a guitar and maybe a flute. Let's try this query for acoustic guitar. It removed the flute and we have just the guitar. Let's try keeping the flute instead. Next, we have some laughter. <laughs> oh dear, let's click the separate button. <laughs> um, well then, I think there were crickets in the background. Let's see if we can get the crickets. <laughs> Let's try the next example. We want to keep just the piano. The sound in the background sounded like a baby rattler. Let's see what happens. Sounds like he got it. Let's see the next example. Keep the water drops.
I think the other sound was thunder. Keep the thunder instead. And let's hear the last example. She had her dark suit in greasy wash water all year. Keep the speech, remove the static. She had her dark suit in greasy wash water all year. Great! Well, I don't feel like hearing just static at this time, so we'll skip keeping just the static. And there you have it. This is a nice tool to remove unwanted audio, and it runs pretty fast. That is all for now. Enjoy!